sardine time of the year for KZN is a huge event. Everybody comes down to the beach and just enjoy this whole spectacular event. Uh, for us, the adrenaline pumping, you're seeing two, three hundred kilo sharks swimming in the shallows and you know you've got a chance catching them in the back waves. You see some, we saw tuna this morning, GTs, some Garrick. So it's just all that excitement around it uh, gets the juices flowing and us as anglers love this time of the year. Alright, well, we just got down to the beach here, near Scopra, and the sardines are everywhere. This whole bay is to the sardines. So we're quickly making a little game plan here. I think I'm going to take the car seat and see if I can get us some fresh bait. Then we go from there. I decided to carry the car seat with me. I like to catch some sardines with the car seat. They're not squashed, they're nice and fresh and lively. So I was lucky enough this morning to find the area where the sardines got pushed in quite close. Got one net into them, ended up with 10 or 12 dozen of sardines. So we had fresh bait and everything was set for us to get a bite. Hey, we got some bait! Right, so obviously when we come for these big sharks, I, I fish with my biggest setup that I have. Um, I'm happy with the 10 Slammer 8500, loaded with 80 pound whiplash, um, and then also 200 pound whiplash leader. And obviously then on that, the Beast, the Medusa, so fishing with a 150 and 200 pound uh, steel trace, and I had a 10 Fusion hook on it. So I had everything ready to hook a big fish, and when I hooked it, it was just a question of setting your drag correct, it's, it's tight drag, making sure nothing breaks and then the most important of all in the sardine run is to stay away from other anglers and hope and pray that something doesn't swim into your line and, and cut you off. Oh, here we go. Something feeding. <laughs> At him. Well guys, this is what this whole sardine run is about. Hooking these giant monster sharks and it's full drag here. I can't stand up. If I stand up now, I'm going to the water and uh, trying to turn them before something goes wrong. Working overtime. Something swims to your line, it's God. It's full concentration. Funny guys. Lucky I'm super fit. <laughs> well, I think I've been on for about an hour and a bit now. And uh, these fish are so strong. It's obviously a decent sized shark. My biggest fear now is not actually managing to land the fish, it's managing to get through all these sardines. There's literally tons and tons of sods right here in front of us and at the back. And my line's cutting through them the whole time. 
So anything that swims through there, it's game over. So it's a bit of praying here that we get lucky and get him through the sods and get it into the shore break. So it's been an hour and a half and I think I've managed to get the fish into the trough in front of us. So now it's that final bit of labour. It's a bad shore dump here. I'm glad I'm not grabbing this fish. But with some capable hands here. So it's going to be fun and games. Well, John came down with me this morning and lucky for him, he landed a nice big blackfin. After he released his blackfin, he came and gave me a hand. And I'm very happy for John and Nick and the guys to help me land this fish in this big shore dump we had because it's a heavy, bulky fish and without their help, I would never been able to land this fish. Well, for me, it was a nice achievement. It's my personal best gray shark, 241 centimeters, three quarter length. Very happy with it, the personal best. A very, very strong fish, and just happy to land it and release it back safely. That's a nice fish. To, how big was it, John? Yeah, 241 centimeter gray shark. I guess about 230, 240 kilos. So I'm happy. 